Adriana for Phone Dog here. A couple weeks ago, I unboxed the Palm Pixie, uh, which I got from Best Buy Mobile. Uh, so I'm going to give them a quick shout out here. They actually supply a lot of the devices that the Phone Dog editors get to review on YouTube and on the site PhoneDog.com. Uh, my friend and colleague John Walton calls them the evil mail-in rebate eliminators. Uh, what that means is you go and you pick out your handset, you take it to the cash register, and uh, basically you get your rebate right there on the spot. So there's no filling out forms or waiting for weeks. You just you get it right there. Um, so that's always nice. Anyway, so they actually provided me with a Palm Pixie that I unboxed, and uh, in the meantime, Phone Dog HQ sent me a Palm Pre. So I have the two phones here at the same time and at the same place, um, and so it just seems like a good time to do some comparisons. So I'm just going to run through some of the some of the hardware specs, some of the form factor details, and uh, I'm going to run a handful of performance tests, and we'll see how they measure up. I have a little CD under here, uh, just so you could get a better sense of the size. Now they're both pretty compact devices. What you'll notice straight off the bat is that the Palm Pixie is a candy bar phone and the Palm Pre is more of a slider phone. So what that means is, well, you know, you've actually got two different kind of sizes to check out. First, the Pixie is a little bit taller than the Pre in closed position. In the open position though, it's a little, well actually it's a lot smaller. Um, but you're not likely going to carry it around like that. You'll carry it around like this. Um, so it's also uh, a little less wide than the Pre, and it's also a lot thinner. Now, uh, let's get this out of here. Now, the, the sliding mechanism on the Pre has everything to do with the keyboard. Now, because uh, it's a slider phone, and most slider phones have flat keys, uh, it can't sit really tall or have a high amount of doming because it'll get in the way of the slider mechanism. Um, so this is flat, like a lot of slider phones are, and it's on a sunken bed. Um, that means that you get a lot of this kind of sharp edge action going on here. Um, on the Pixie, you don't really have that. I mean, there, there are edges here, but they're not sharp at all. The keyboard sits on the flat front face, and there's a nice amount of doming and a good amount of travel. You'll see that the keys are a little bit um, <clears throat> higher. They sit a little bit higher up. So what that means is when you click on it, it actually feels really satisfying, kind of like like uh, like bubble wrap. Oh, I love that. Sorry, getting distracted. Um, on the Pixie, I'm sorry, on the Pre, this. Uh, this wouldn't be quite so bad if it didn't feel quite so unbalanced. I mean, in one-handed mode, you're okay because your fingers are kind of gripping the thing. But when you're using it like this, it just it feels like you could fall out of your your hands at any minute because all the weight is is at the top. So you, you, oh, sorry, dude. With the Pixie, it's not a problem at all in in one-hand mode or in two-hand mode. It just it feels really nice and the balance is just really great. So I'm not sure why they switched everything around. Um, but they did, and I'm feeling a little torn about it because I like the volume rocker on the left. I'm right-handed, so when I'm on a call, um, I like having the control right underneath my fingertips. Um, having said that, though, when I want to wake my phone or um, powering it on or off, I find that I have to switch my, my hand position and hit that button there. So it, it's, I don't know, um, I, I actually prefer the on-off button on the Pixie. It's on the top left and that just feels way more comfortable, but I am mourning the loss of the volume rocker on the left side. I have to switch hand position for that. Okay, let's turn these guys on. Aha, all right, so while that's doing that, I'm gonna go over some of the stuff on the back. On the back, you've got a uh, camera. Uh, in both cases, they do still photos. Uh, there is no video out of the box. Um, they have LED uh, flashes built in and speaker. Um, now, in the case of the Pixie, it's two megapixels. Uh, on, in the case of the Pre, you've got three megapixels back here. Um, and you're going to notice also that the speakers look a little different. Now, here you've got kind of a circular pattern. On the Pixie, there's like kind of this fake out thing happening. Like there's, it looks like two speaker grills. So you, you walk around thinking you got stereo uh, audio, but you don't. The speaker is only here on the right-hand side. So why do they do this? 
Well, I'm going to give them benefit of the doubt and say that they, they made it an aesthetic choice for balance, but um, if you're expecting stereo sound out of this thing, you might be disappointed. Um, let's see, let's do a little check. Nope, still powering on. In the case of the Pre, it's kind of a harder plastic. Um, it's a little shinier. In the case of the Pixie, it's a soft touch plastic that gives it a more rubbery kind of feel. Um, I like the way this feels. It just, it's, it's nice. Just, you know, tactile wise, it just feels really good. Here, the plastic, well, it's getting criticism because it does feel a little bit cheap. Um, I can only guess that maybe they, they chose it because it didn't weigh, add any weight to the device. Um, I know some people that aren't bothered by it, and I know some people that are bothered a lot by it, so uh, just take that into account if you're trying to choose between the two. Oh! Oh! Did you see that? Oh my goodness! The Pixie uh, turned on faster. Obviously, there's a size differential, but uh, in addition to that, I mean, you're, you're talking about... Um, what is it, like 24-bit color on the Pre and 18-bit colors on the Pixie. So it's actually offering a, a richer experience. Um, I'm going to hit up the web browser first. Oh, yeah, by the way, <laughs> there's an accelerometer there. Um, let's hold these guys up. All right, well, let's see what's happening on Phone Dog. <clears throat> okay, um, now... I'm doing these both on the 3G, on the EVDU network, because, as you probably know already, uh, but in case you don't, the Pixie does not have Wi-Fi. Um, yeah, kind of a bummer. Uh, so if you're in a good Sprint coverage area, it may not be that big of a deal for you, but if you're not, that lack of Wi-Fi is just, wow, going to cause you a little bit of pain. Um, so there it is. There it is. They both load pretty well. Uh, I would say, like, practically simultaneously. Let's look at these little X's, which is finished first here. Okay. The Pre beat the Pixie by about a hair. I'm going to download something just to check out the, um, the speed, the downloading speed. So we're going to try Flight Briefer. Uh, the reason for that is that, look, it's free. We like free things. So let's give that a shot. Um, location services continue. And let's see who performs better. Now this is, uh, again, they're both operating on the EVDU network. Um, the Pre does have Wi-Fi, but I'm not turning it on here because it wouldn't be a fair fight. So the Pre downloaded first. Let's try Twitter. Let's see what's going on there. Phone dog Adriana, that's me. Okay. My timeline's low. Okay, that's pretty simultaneous. Um, John Ashton Edgar, phone dog Noah. Hey Noah! All you guys that are always asking, hey where's Noah? There he is! Hey dude! Um, let's see. Well, I mean the the both of them the scrolling action is pretty good. I don't feel a lot of stuttering or anything. Now let's go to, ooh, there's the YouTube test. At this point, I think we've got like four cards open. So let's check that out. Um, let's see. We got the, oh, goalie fail. How do you not watch something called goalie fail? Let's go. Goalie fail from fail blog. Look at that. Yeah, Pre is definitely running pretty smoothly there, while the Pixie is still loading. Oh my gosh, come on, little guy. Pre is totally kicking your butt. So there it is. So even before the video on the Pixie can load, the video on the Pre is already done. The mini dog fight. So who won? Well, okay, for specs, gotta give it to the pre. For build quality, uh, the Pixie. As far as performance is concerned, though, okay, pre. Uh, but the gap wasn't, really wasn't as huge as I thought it would be. 
and um, in some cases the pixie actually was a little bit tippier. So at the end of all of this, I think the pre probably wins, but I'm going out tonight and I'm probably taking the pixie with me. So there you go. Um, this is Adriana for Phone Dog. Uh, thanks for watching.